Hi guys, or welcome back. Hope you're all doing well. So I'm just gonna get straight into it and give you my final thoughts on these products because I need to spill some tea. So this sunscreen, this Bondis Sand sunscreen, on the face of it, you think, wow, a sunscreen that's affordable, it's about eight pounds in the UK. You think, wow, black girl friendly, you know, no ash, no purple. That's what you think. But for me, for me, you see, in my previous video, I mentioned that this was greasy. I absolutely 110% stand by that. I thought that I was the problem. I thought it was me. I thought, oh, maybe I'm just using too much, but no, irrespective of the amount I use, this is hella shine, hella grease. And for me, it's like, okay, cool. You don't give me ash. You don't give me purple flashback, but you give me grease. You give me shine upon shine. Like it doesn't matter. Even if you use it, look, even if you use this amount, yeah? and you put it on your skin, shine, shine. Nah, it's too much. It's too, too much. I don't need to be glowing like that. To the point where I would just rest my hand, my head, sorry, on my hand and look, grease. Honestly, I'm lucky that I live in the UK because if I was in Dubai on the beach, my face would be frying honestly and truly so i had to come back and let you guys know that that's my experience because a liar i'm not and i'm not going to come here and tell you that this is grease and the smell is not even the smell is not nice no it's a no from me babe it's a no from me definitely not would not recommend this would not use it again so use at your own risk is what i'm gonna say So this pie hydrating avocado and jojoba moisturizer it's just very unfortunate it's so disappointing so day one i used it you saw me use it it was fine day two also fine day three is where the problem started so i used it in the morning day three and i started experiencing this burning sensation my face was burning it was itchy and I felt like I just wanted to rip my face off. Like, you know when, it's almost like someone just put fire on your face and you just need water to relieve you. So I'm like, what's really going on? And I knew as soon as I, I felt that, I felt that before with another cream, that's an allergic reaction. The difference is this happened, this was a delayed thing. Like usually it just happens immediately. So I'm like, okay, cool. But then I was also using the, um, the sunscreen at the time as well. So I'm thinking, is it just a delayed response of both of these things or is it this or is it this i just wasn't sure so anyway you would think that after that reaction i would just leave it alone but i really wanted to know whether or not it was the, this cream or the sunscreen so i used it again and yeah my face was like babe did you not hear the first time baby this ain't for you hun that's what my face said immediately after i started experiencing all the itch i said nah and I think also, I noticed that the, the texture of my skin started to change. So like on day four, the texture of my skin started to change. You know, it was, um, it was looking very stressed. And it was just, <laughs> it was so upset with me. And my face was so, so upset with me. And I don't know why I didn't see that the texture was changing before, but I think this is what happens when you're using two new products at the same time. You don't know which one it is, but I can 110% confirm that this was the culprit. My face really was not happy with me. And it does also say, to be fair, that contains an oil. So it just continued to use the irritation occurs. So I don't know if that was the ingredient that was causing the, the burn. But I just know that my face didn't appreciate it, so definitely gonna have to give this one away. And it's just unfortunate, like, look how cute the bottle is. It looked like, oh, sad times. But that brings me to the end of the video. Those were my personal experiences with these products, my personal 
thoughts on these products and um, yeah, I'll see you in the next video.